This this saves a lot of backs right here. Right there. Okay? And then for the Polino. And then just, the way it's designed, the big is for the big for the big bigger ball. You can hear that snap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't finish the game, so it's halftime. Oh, okay. six one. <laughs> but uh, welcome back to Bocce. How's it feel to be back playing oh, Bocce? Oh man, I'll tell you. Um, being cooped up in the house, not being able to go outside and do anything, and you know, I love your mom. She's, she's the great. She's she's my she's. She, I when I met her, I won the lotto, no question. But you know, I need I need my time on the Bocce courts, and we were able to get back uh, to the courts. Uh, this summer, we played, you know, instead of four to a side, we, we reduced it to two gloves. Uh, everybody washed their hands. Everybody kept safe distancing. But to get back on this court, uh, it, it really meant a lot because you could part of part of being secluded is you only have one talking partner. Uh, getting out on the courts, you know, it, it, it blows up to anywhere from eight to 12. You can talk to people. What did you do? How did you survive? But getting out and being social again uh, was really, really an important one. And then plus the competitive juices, they just start to flow. And then all the trash talking just comes out. You know, you've been bottled up for so long. So, and then at the same time, you get new people to the court and they go, well, I've never played bocce. I said, well, it, bocce's like uh, playing marbles for adults. You know, you just try and get close to the polino. So we bring out a lot of new people and show them different tips, different things on, on how to play. But I'll tell you, just getting back on the courts and playing, it just comes back like riding a bike. You just, you know, sometimes you throw it underhand, sometimes you backhand. And and what I tell the beginners is, they go, well, I don't know how hard to throw it. Well, if you concentrate on the polina where it's at on the court, your brain will tell your arm how hard to throw it. Yeah. And sure enough, Every time, they'll either bocce, which means kissing the polino, right? Or they'll get close to it and they get all excited. You know, it's like hitting a home run. Yeah. So, so if you can just get off, get off your buff and get on the courts, yeah. that's the key. Well, I think you said a couple, a couple things in there. But one is just the the new players coming to bocce post pandemic. You know, we know we know bocce is. I mean, we see right here we're playing, and people stop and look. They want to know what's going on. It's a lot of fun, um, and and there's new people coming to bocce. They they really are because people want to get out. 
Uh, and I don't know if you tried to book a restaurant recently, but it's weeks in advance. So these spots is a great event where you can go play basically anywhere. And what we're trying to do out here in Austin is build a bocce community uh, where we can we can have these these games. So we're looking to build um, bocce in Austin for a league coming this fall. Uh, we've been playing bocce with uh, Gorilla Bocce down there by the lake. Uh, nighttime bocce, great way to get out of the heat and, and hang out and learn the game. Uh, but look for bocce in Austin with Chicken Foot this fall. Um, and we're looking for new players. Uh, people who are competitive, people who like to play for money, uh, and like my dad said, hey, it's it's uh, anything can happen. Anything can happen on the court, so don't be afraid to get out there and roll because uh, your brain does tell you what to do. It's one of the oldest motions in the in, in our in our DNA, which is as hunters, you gotta try to get as close to the target as possible. So it's a very natural sport. I know we got stalled in 2020 with Chicken Foot. We had uh, we had secured uh, the funding to, to to get the new product, and then boom, the pandemic hits, and everything went supply chain, everything dove, league stopped. Uh, but now here we are, 2021, a year later, uh, and we're poised back to get to get. So, so what are our plans for this year, Dad? Well, uh, we want to get that supply chain moving, and so we plan to have new product. Uh, late summer, Bocce's pretty much been, been uh, shut out on a lot of things, but now that the tournaments are starting, we've already geared ourselves up for the Vegas tournament, and then there's another national tournament in uh, September in uh, Lake Orion, uh, Michigan, which we plan to go to. Right, those are uh, being thrown by our good friends, uh, Alex Garr and American Bocce. Uh, so, and the Bocce Bros. And the Bocce Bros. Uh, and then, and then uh, we... Uh, we're going to have a bocce tournament here in Cedar Park, uh, Texas, uh, in the fall. So look for that as well. Um, so tournaments really are, are what we're looking forward to, plus the, the new product should be available late summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just want to uh, just attend as many tournaments and, and social events as we possibly can and just expose them to the game of bocce. It's just about growing up. I met a couple of uh, people on the way over and they were surprised that bocce was exploding as it was and we mentioned how restaurants now are are having indoor dining as well as indoor bocce uh, and so some of the states where you get snow obviously indoor indoor bocce is going to be uh, a top priority whereas in, in arizona uh, it gets hotter than heck you know indoor bocce ac everything we're going to be good too you know so might be something that uh, if you don't if you don't play you know when it's cool weather here in Austin you know maybe somebody uh, opens up a, a restaurant with bocce course indoors and you, know, you can play year round there. Sounds good. I want to talk about the new chicken foot design. So you're probably already familiar with the original design, patented. You know the foot, the chicken foot can pick up both sides of both sides of the ball. It's, it's unique cup shape, picks up the polina and the bigger ball. We got the, the, the grip and the stick. The new design is going to keep the same foot. What changes is the stick. It's going to be collapsible. So that means it'll go from here to here. We've heard your, your uh, ideas and we understand that this is difficult to travel with. It's difficult to carry around in your car. It's not easy to put in a bag. We got the new one. It's coming, so look out for it. Uh, but we're very excited. You know, it's it's really difficult to uh, to be in this space because chicken foot's so nuanced. But we hope that by spreading the word of bocce, you know, people will get get the idea. Yeah, and like Nathan said, some of our 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 customers now that have the original chicken foot are competitive bocce players and they'll travel from New York to Chicago or California. Difficult to get this on the airplane, but with the new one that collapses, they could put it on their carry-on and there's no problem. Uh, so they called out to us saying, you know, design exactly what you have, only make it collapse. So like Nathan said, we heard them, heard them loud and clear. So we're working on poles that we can get and the foot to go along with it. But We've sold out everything that we had uh, uh, to start with, and now that our supply chain is going to get uh, re replenished, 
we're just looking at going out and meeting some of our old friends and playing a very competitive game. Like Nathan said, you know, it takes a lot of energy to reach down, especially when you get my age. My, I, I, I designed this because I have uh, lower back problems. But if I were to play all day in a tournament or two days in a tournament, I, I wouldn't be worth anything. So inventing this helps me play the game a lot longer and be more competitive.